Alright, before we get into the video, I want to give y'all a quick preview. I'm about to show y'all something that has never been done. Now, trimmer blades, liner blades, we modify. Everybody modify those blades. But you've never seen a person modify a blade to take two clippers, a regular blade that go from a triple zero to a one, and a fade blade that go from a five zero to a three zero, all into one blade, five zero all the way to a one. Stay tuned. Let's check this out. Yeah, you see it? Lights, camera, action. This is our new barber studio talking sports. Real barbers, real dudes talking real life. Yes, stay tuned. Stay smooth. Don't move! You here with the Hot Boys! What's going on? Today in this video, we are going to show you how to do special modifications to make these clippers work for you. Whether you have blades, clippers, or even scissors, we're going to teach you how to make them work better. Whether you're a barber, stylist, or a beautician, or pet groomer. This video is for you. And I'm going to show you that I play with these clippers because I play with these clippers. What does that make me? That make me Kawhi Leonard. Why I say Kawhi Leonard? Because he's the only two-way player who is good on defense and he's great on offense. And so like Kawhi Leonard, when I'm using these clippers as a barber, y'all seeing those videos of me cutting hair? I'm on offense, and I'm playing with these clippers. But I'm also in the back on defense, modifying these clippers, playing with these clippers. So like I said, I'm going to show you, because I'm the only one in the barber game that play with these clippers, because I play with these clippers. So now what we're going to do is give attention to all magnetic clippers with the lever on the side. And this master wall, senior, babyless, etc, etc. Oh, by the way, before we get into deep in this video, I got to give attention to one thing. My children, they practicing, so y'all going to hear some music. Because I got to let them get it in. Because when we do these videos, they be getting it in for me, for the intro videos. Alright, so check it out. Back to this. These clippers all have levers. And they have fade clippers. But all barbers know this. When we cut hair, there's one blade that's called the fade blade that's real thin, goes from a 5-0 to a 3-0. And then there's the regular blade that goes from a 3-0 to a number one. And we all use those two clippers interchangeably. However, what if you can now just use one blade that went from a 5-0 to a number one, which will cut time, you don't have to grab two different clippers, and you got that one clipper in your hand. And that's the modification I'm going to show you today. So check it out. You have the Fade Master, which is paper thin. Now you got the regular Master, which is a little bit thicker. That blade again goes from 5-0 to a 3-0, and this goes from a 3-0 to a number one. But now, this is called the Grand Master Blade, because this blade will go from a 5-0 all the way to a number one, because we gonna do the modification to it. So check it out. So for, before we get started sharpening, I need to show y'all these blades together, all right? So you can see that the fade blade is real thin, go from 5-0 to 3-0. The regular blade is thicker, go from 3-0 to number one. We're going to create that thinness at the tip of this blade, that which will allow you to go from a 5-0 all the way to a number one. All right, let's go. Now, the first thing I want to do is acknowledge the fact that some of my comments said that I should use a marker to mark the blade so that you guys can see exactly what's going on. And so I wanna give a shout out to all of those who sent me messages and told me that. And now what I wanna do is mark this with the black marker. Now you're gonna be able to see everything that I'm gonna do at the tip of this blade so that you can see the true modification of the master blade. Now, we are gonna get started. 
Keep one thing in mind when you're using the twice as sharp machine is you want to get this at about a 50 to 55 degree angle because that's what's going to knock that first thinness in the blade. Let's go. And always remember you want to stay smooth but don't move. All right? So let's just take a look at it. So if you notice, I put the marker there, it disappeared at the tip. But we got to get it a little bit. If you look at that, we got to get that a little bit thinner there, okay? All right, let's take a look at the tip of the blade. We're going to go a little bit thinner. So now we got the tip of the blade right there at the teeth about where the fade blade will be. So now that we got that thin there, now what we want to do is take and buff the teeth smooth. Alright, so we buff that all in. And now so you don't dig pores, you always want to soft hit the tip of the blade. Now once you hit the tip, of course you turn the, 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 the power off but keep the wheel running. Get the speed up and after you hit the tip, then you soft lean up and buff the front of the blade. Hit the tip. Bend up and hit the, and then now you're going to hit the corners of the blade. So now, all right. So now what you have is a thin out custom master, fade master blade. But technically, this blade right now. It's actually no longer a master blade. It's no longer a fade blade. It's called a grand master blade because it has now become two blades in one which make this the superior blade, the grand master blade. Now, the blade is on, set, and complete. But there's other things besides the modifications that could go wrong with your master, such as the power, the adjustments, or the tension. I've made videos for you several years ago to fix all those problems. But if you would like a more up-to-date version, hey, if I get 20 comments asking for an up-to-date version, I'll make the up-to-date version. And keep another thing in mind, this type of modification goes well for wall, clippers, babyless clippers, etc., etc. Any clipper with a level on the side. Now listen to this. All right, if you can, hit the like button. Like the video, let me know how you feel. Or subscribe. In fact, make sure you hit the bell for you so you can get a notification when I put up upcoming videos. Thanks a lot.